This week on the Milford Informer, we're so happy to welcome back the president of the Oddball Foundation, Jason Wright. Jason, welcome back to the show. Happy to have you with us. Hi, Tim. How you doing? Thanks for having me back on. Um, so for folks who may not remember, we had Jason on really right about a year ago um, to share some information uh, about the Oddball Foundation and about a lot of the great work um, that the foundation's done over the years. So, uh, Jason, just to kind of reset and refresh everyone's memory, tell us a little bit about what the Oddball Foundation is all about. Thanks, Tim. Well, first off, uh, Oddball Foundation is a 501c3 for mental health advocacy with the idea of uh, advocacy through art. And uh, a lot of the things we'd like to do is, well, one, we have the podcast and one, we have the magazine, which is oddballmagazine.com. And we also like to put on community events. So last year when you interviewed us, we had the Michael Cherry Memorial Walk. Uh, and before that was the Michael Cherry Memorial 5K. And we've done um, like the future, no future workshops a few years back and all those kind of things. So um, we're about community advocacy. We're about doing things differently. Um, you know, Oddball Magazine has always, you know, was born from zine culture. So it's always been kind of a DIY kind of uh, underground kind of uh, just a, a different kind of animal that is uh, of other nonprofits. So we're really excited for what's coming up uh, this week. This this week, actually, is the uh, Oddball Festival, which is a lot of work and it's a little bit more celebratory than the last uh, events which were more memorial because they were for suicide awareness for which was for my my, my nephew who had passed away um will be will be six years ago in october and i mean that's really such a a, a huge aspect of uh, what the oddball foundation is all about really that that mental health adv advocacy which is really the driving force in in in, in most of your operations uh, can can you kind of maybe speak from a personal standpoint as, as to why that is so important to you? Well, I, I appreciate that. So um, I really appreciate the, the the fact that we have a platform now for um, speaking for people who might not have a voice, um, people who have been marginalized by the mental health community. Uh, um, I'm sorry, not the mental health community, by the mental health system, uh, people who might be stigmatized by having um, some sort of diagnosis. And the idea is, we're we're trying to normalize mental illness, um, realizing that it's a brain body connection. You know, using different t sorts of um, ways of looking at the body instead of just saying like you know you're ill and taking a medication and that's it, or maybe talk therapy. And there's all sorts of uh, ways of healing the body, and it's more like a wellness kind of uh, journey at this point. Um, and so so uh, Oddball Foundation wants to you know there's many different forms of, of mental health advocacy and one thing we use is the podcast and the podcast is i bring in all these really interesting advocates who have like they're they're like doctors and psychiatrists and ex-patients and things like that and they talk more a little bit more clearly about what their experience is and so i like to bring in psychiatric survivors onto the podcast to talk about like what they've experienced and then why they're advocating for like a difference in the change in mental health systems um and you know try and kind of like do like uh like, a, like an advocacy where you know people kind of like hearing this the not i hate to say the patient's side but maybe the peer side maybe the person with lived experiences side of what it's like to have a diagnosis what it's like to be stigmatized what it's like to be ridiculed ridiculed, made fun of, um, ostracized, felt like you weren't part of a community. Um, Oddball was literally built on the idea that I did not fit in. And and I sort of, I, I still don't fit in, even in a world where I, I, I try and fit in, I don't. And uh, it's just very, it's just very, very much my, my, my saving grace has always been writing poetry. My saving grace has always been um poetry uh communities writing art all that kind of thing i feel like there's just a, like a lot of ways of expressing yourself through art and um yeah so i, I like to i like to add that advocacy and art art artistry angle when it comes to um what we do with the organization so like you know some of the stuff that um we try and do and we'd like to do are some writing workshops that are more cost effective for people 
Um, I don't know if you ever uh, know workshops can be very expensive. We want to do some more peer support programs, that kind of thing. Um, start some more open mics and that thing. So Oddball, Oddball Festival is really just a catalyst to, you know, kind of like get some get some more funding for the for the foundation so we can do some cool programs and, you know, just make a better experience for oddballmagazine.com. You know, we want to try and make our uh, you know, we we want to make a book drive. We have a lot of ideas, so you know we're trying to to get more um, attention um, about. Well, one of the things is we're having all these advocacy organizations come on, and they're going to talk about on the at the festival, and they're going to talk about their what they're doing to uh, to uh, normalize the idea of having a, a you know being in recovery or being in recovery from mental health uh, diagnosis or just coming back from a psychiatric you know, fall in the past. So really excited about like where we're at with the, where, where we're at with like the foundation. And I think our foundation has integrity with the mission that we're keeping of like dispelling the myths of mental illness. Yeah. Destigmatizing, normalizing two really powerful stances in, in today's world with really allowing people to feel more comfortable with with seeking uh, mental mental health in in whatever form they they might wish to seek it out it's uh it's it's really important to to push those messages jason so that's that's some really great work that the oddball foundation is doing and, and so i do want to give you a chance to really delve in uh to a lot more of the details on the oddball festival this seems like it's really going to be uh an exciting uh, opportunity for folks uh real coming up this weekend so if you're if you're tuned into yeah. this uh it's coming up this Sunday, August 13th. Um, so tell us all of the details, Jason, about Oddball Festival. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm so beyond excited about what we have planned. Um, so first off, it's really cool because we can put our spin on a festival. So we can play our music. We can we can bring in our vendors that we that we appreciate and that are doing great work for the community. We can bring in our the food trucks that we like. We can bring in the advocacy organizations that we that we support, the poets that 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 we vibe with. Um it's going to be really an incredible event. Um, I want to give a shout out to my my team and my partner, Shannon Sylvester. She has been working tirelessly on this um, with me as well. So it's been a real labor of love. Like we're working hard. We're bringing everyone in together to do this like amazing event. Um, it was kind of like, uh, hey, it would be cool if we did like this poetry advocacy festival. And like, we're like, yeah, okay, sure. And then like, we sort of just like, you know what, it'd be really cool if we did this poetry and advocacy festival. Yeah, all right, all right, sure. Well, let me just ask some people. And then, you know, oh, yeah, sure, I'd love to do it. Yeah, I'd love to do it. Oh, that's great, you know. And so it started to slowly build. So now we have it. We have, uh, oh, man, I'm so excited. So it's August 13th at the Manso Mass Art Center. It's from 12 to 4. Um, we have, uh, let me explain some of the advocacy organizations. First off, we have DRA, which is Dual Recovery Anonymous. And, and I got involved with the Dual Recovery Anonymous community because it's so effective in dealing with and living with um, and having a supportive community of having like either some sort of issue on the side of also having a diagnosis at the same time and, and putting that together and just using like this like community that really is just builds you up and is just oh my god i'm so passionate about them and then we have um a safe coalition um i met jennifer knight a long time ago she's a good friend of mine she's doing some great work in the community um just check out safe coalition they're going to be at the event they're incredible if you ever get to go to the safe space in Franklin, it is the most beautiful, welcoming place in the, the that I can think of. Um, then we have my friend James Boomhauer from Stay Fit for Duty. He is the nicest guy in the world. He he created this uh, uh, peer support community for for first responders, and I I totally value that. And I want to shout out this is my brave for introducing me to to them uh, to to J to James in the first place. And um, you know, me and him have forged a friendship, and he's be built something beautiful with Stay Fit for Duty. Um, you know, next we have uh, well, we I believe we have Michelle Hammer from Schizophrenic NY see coming down from coming up from new york to, to just to be there to talk about her her way of um talking about uh schizophrenia and 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 how she's built this huge uh, community um and she's also the uh the co-host of the psych central um bipolar and a schizophrenic podcast and just a really great person i've known her for a long time 
Um, and she's really uh, uh, active on TikTok and, and all that kind of stuff. I guess she's got like a million followers or something. I don't know. I have like five. But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, I've tried to TikTok, Tim. It's not pretty. Um, and then we have Wildflower Alliance. They're a great uh, uh, recovery community from, uh, from uh, Western Mass coming down. They do all sorts of trainings and stuff. And they're just got the finger on the pulse when it comes to peer support uh dbsa which is the depression bipolar support, support association we have people talking about them um now oddball magazine has been doing stuff for like 10 10 years 10 years online and um i built something really cool with my associate editor chad parenzo so chad's gonna be reading uh timothy gager who is this amazing poet and is on our board is gonna be reading he's a poet and a writer and you know he just he's majorly prolific he's incredible CCR Chagra, who's one of my just really good friends, is coming down from Connecticut to to read and and be a part of this event. Um, he has this really great thing called Human Room Open Open Dial Open Voice on. Uh, it's just great. You got to get involved with it. He is just a visionary thinker. Um, we have Rick McIntyre. He's an incredible uh, performer. If you ever seen him read, we have the Garage Poets coming down. That's um, I don't know. It's coming down. Yeah, because they're from Boston, so they're coming down. Um, Jeff Taylor and Ethan Mackler and his crew coming down to to play music. Ethan Mackler's a bass player. It's gonna be really cool. There's like a lot of advocacy organizations, a lot of poets coming. Um, so that's really cool. And then I mean, then we have music. Uh, we have uh, Sir Ian for all, he's playing music. Um, he's gonna he's from also gonna speak on the on the power of DBSA and he's gonna play some music. So that's really great. Then we have Erica Mantone and Eric Salt. Erica Mantone's a friend of mine. Eric Salt's a great guy from um, from Plainville, and he's an, also an incredible musician. These these both. Uh, uh, Eric is like best was nominated best of Boston of her her soulful voice. Eric is a, a super good guitar player. They're gonna play together on stage. Then we have all these different vendors and stuff coming. We have mental health house plants, um, Untapped Coffee. I met them at Nami. They're great. They're they're uh, just mental health focused. Uh, uh, my friend uh, Nick Jacobs is gonna come down sell uh, sell some of his amazing gear, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, Geez, I don't know. We have uh, so many. We have jewelry vendors. We have uh, we have oh, we have two food trucks. We have oh, we have two jerks barbecue. We have a we have like an ice cream truck. John's uh, Johnny's Dream Ice Cream from Mansfield is coming down. He uh, has a really special uh, mission. What he does is uh, he donates his um, his uh, cause to the Epilepsy Foundation. So that's really cool. That aligns with like our advocacy angle um it's just giving me an awesome event tim i am so pumped um you know it's it's really interesting planning a festival and then also executing the festival at the same time so i mean i'm telling you like it's just like going through my mind all the time um we have some cool shirts coming uh, i have some shirt being shirt shirts being made oddball festival shirts um just yeah it's just incredible i just can't wait uh there's going to be really cool things there that uh, i just don't think you're going to experience at other festivals i mean the music alone is going to be phenomenal so i am just i am over the moon tim yeah just a, a really special collective of of a lot of different arts representation uh, a lot of different advocacy groups uh great vendors great food great entertainment uh really just feels like a very positive very healing sort of atmosphere that's that's going to be taking place and again that is happening this sunday uh august 13th over at the mass arts center in mansfield that's 888 south main street in mansfield 12 to 4 p.m. It's rain or shine uh, and, and just an outstanding day uh, there for the Oddball Festival. Uh, I can't imagine how much work has gone into to, to the planning and preparation for this, Jason. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. And if you want to come the day of the event um, and if you're looking to volunteer, we'd love to have you. We do need volunteers for the event. Uh, it is an animal to put together a festival. And believe me, it is an animal to put together a festival. We're really excited. Um, uh, just to do it so if you want to volunteer and come the day of the event and help us out that'd be great um and if you want uh we have a promo code oddball to get 25 percent off of an already cheap ticket of ten dollars and um that is all the ten dollars goes directly to um oddball foundation um for our programs and stuff and, and also since it was since we're a nonprofit, they are tax deductible donations so really it's a win-win it's just we're trying to put on this awesome event for the community um and just super excited so if you want to volunteer you want to come down 
yeah it's rain or shine but it's gonna be just a phenomenal event and it does look like the weather is going to be good coming up this weekend so that's just another plus mm-hmm. for the event so uh well we are, we are really looking forward to uh to getting coverage of the event jason we'll have our member services coordinator michelle down there at the event this weekend uh to take in all the lights and sounds so we'll be happy to share some of that uh here on the milford informer in the next couple of weeks but in the meantime just one more time we encourage everyone out there uh head over to the oddball foundation this weekend it's coming up this sunday over in mansfield should be an outstanding day and you can help support all of the really great important work uh that the oddball foundation has been doing and will continue to be doing here in the community well jason once again uh so great to have you on the show best of luck with everything this weekend and we look forward to catching up with you again soon thank you tim i am so pumped up i hope you uh come down and um thank you uh, milford cable access you have you have been really great and to the community if you want to get involved with milford cable access you have a beautiful studio that i'd love to check out and rock that sometimes and, and, and maybe do a podcast on there because that that is a beautiful studio and i really appreciate it and shout out to michelle she's a really nice person so i'm looking forward to Everything that is happening at Oddball Festival is going to be a slamming event, and I am so excited.